the Imo state governor, Senator Hope Ozodima, has expressed dissatisfaction over the label of Supreme Court governor continuously allegedly used by the People's Democratic Party, PDP loyalist in the state. The governor called on the NJC through the Registrar of the Supreme Court to require YDK to stand trial for content for, according to him, presently making mockery of the decision and proceedings of the Supreme Court on the Imo State gubernatorial election, thereby making them look compromised and biased in the eyes of the public, which is a, de which is a dent on their integrity and their pedigree. <laughs> Hmm. Supreme Court governor, they said, it is not just the People Democratic Party, the PDP, that is actually calling Hope Uzodema the Supreme Court governor. It seems this is a song in Imo State that everybody is singing to. Charlie Boy on his own have publicly called Hope Uzodema, the Supreme Court governor, because the people of Imo State believe that this is just a, a, a manipulation that they, they used the, 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 their present government to influence him and give him this uh, position as the governor of Imo State instead of Emeka uh, Ihedioha, who won the election. But because of that, of his favor on the government, the Supreme Court favored him in their judgment and gave him the, 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 the position. But come to think of it now, it's not about being the governor or Supreme Court. Look at what is happening in Nimu states. How people have been dying day in, day out. I think hope, Uzodema, you should be concerned about the people, how they are dying, the, the suffering from the headsmen, other than the power tussle that has been going on between the APCs and the PDP. This is not what a governor should be focusing on. You should focus on the people. Look at these people dying. Look at the pensioners collapsing during their protests because you are owing them. Yes, the Supreme Court have passed their judgment, which makes the people did not accept it because the, the, the people feel it, it is not supposed to be. But at least, assuming as the governor of the state that you are taking responsibilities, taking good care of the people, like maintaining what doing what you should be doing as a governor, I don't think all this issue of a Supreme Court governor will be there. But because you know, even you as the governor of the of the state, Opuzodema, you know you are not doing the things you're supposed to do. And this, your cry of the ad labeling me a Supreme Court governor, is just showing how incompetent you are. It's just showing how weak you are. It's just showing that you are not living up to the test. That yes, they are calling you the Supreme Court governor. And yes, you are the Supreme Court governor. Because if not, assuming you are playing your role very well, the people of Imo State will accept you. Now look at the old men collapsing on the street of Imo State, protesting for their pension to be paid. Is that not enough for them to join the team or to join other people that are calling you a, a Supreme Court governor? Is that not enough? The Ozadima, uh, uh, the uh, Ihedioha that is no longer there, people still accept him in their heart. People still believe in him and they are praying for him to come back. But when it comes to your case, it is not the same. Everybody is just blaming it on the Supreme Court. Because of what? You are not living up to the expectation. It is as funny as it is. The power tussle between the PDP and the APC is so significant that everybody in the society knows about it. But this is not what the people want. The people want to feel this sense of belonging. The people want to be treated right. The people want to be happy and not sad in their community. It was once reported that there is a food shortage in, in Imo State because of the activities of the Fulani headers who goes about destroying properties, destroying farmlands, and even to the extent of raping and killing innocent indigents of Imo State. And then you are not doing anything about it, Mr. Ozodema.
governors are the marada you are not doing anything about it as i mean you are standing up to defend the people you know plead the the, the, the righteous cause of the of the people of Imo state i don't think this would have been an issue but it's because on your own you know that yes just like it is rightly said that innocent hearts cares, fears no accusation which means you are ranting, you know, you are becoming insecure because you know that, yes, you are not doing the right thing, apart from Supreme Court judgment. You are not doing what you should do for your people, for you to gain their, uh, their loyalty, like for you to gain their solidarity. You are not doing it. And that is why, call it PDP, call it anybody, they are gaining, they are using it. As a strength to fight up, as a, to fight back what has been done to them. So this is not the power. This is not the issue of uh, they are calling me this. They are calling me that. This is the issue of what are you calling yourself? Who are you to the people that you should be governing? What are you doing for them? It must states on its own, like. People are complaining that the roads that Rocha Sukorocha uh, 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 constructed, that they are all bad now. And you, as the incumbent governor of Imo State, is not doing anything significant to help the people at least solve their plight. Instead, you are increasing the sufferings of the people by seizing, like, not paying the pensioners as and when due. And this brings about uh, anarchy, poverty, and suffering in the state. What are you calling yourself? Is it not worse? Are you not worse than the so-called uh, Supreme Court uh, 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 governor? Anyway, let me just review what some people are saying to this effect. Somebody here said, His Excellency, Supreme Court Governor Hope Uzodima. That's your name forever. <laughs> really? Another person here is saying, I'm not from Imo State, but those of them are feeling, is feeling guilty for me, for me. Face Imo State, walk, and stop looking for who is calling you Supreme Court Governor. Exactly. Somebody else said, which political party is that man from? Who voted you? Who made you the governor? Was it not the Supreme Court that forgot justice because of their selfish interest? Rubbish. APC. Rubbish APC. You are the Supreme Court bleaching cream governor. Ah, too blunt. Another person here is saying, and who told him that it's PDP that tagged him Supreme Court governor? I am Apoga. And I call him Supreme Court Governor. Make he hit his head on the wall. Really, that is what I said. It is it's not just PDP calling him the Supreme. Every almost all the emo lights they are calling him Supreme Court Governor because he is not delivering like his his state. He's not doing things that he ought to do as the governor of the state. And that is why they are calling him the Supreme Court governor, because they believe he doesn't have the best interest of, of his state in mind. That is just it. Another person here is saying, even blind man no say your name na Supreme Court, <laughs> your name na Supreme Court governor, Uzo Demma Abi. Somebody here said, truth is constant, my friend. You cannot deny the fact that you are the Supreme Court governor. Who made you governor? Popular vote, people's vote, or you enjoy the office you had to get by all means. Shunning people wouldn't have been necessary if you had been chosen from the ballot. Okay, you see? Why are you complaining, Mr. Man? But you are a Supreme Court governor. In fact, you are a fairly used <laughs> you are a fairly used governor. <laughs> Funny. Please add my name to the petition list. You are a Supreme Court governor. 
this is much uh people are really commenting on this i cannot take all the comments because it's it's much it's much please uh, feel free to drop your own view in the comment section don't forget to subscribe to this channel for the latest updates thank you for watching and bye for now